Listener, it's time to go. Hey, what are you doing over there? We don't have time to waste idling about. There are far too many demons to conquer at Guyun. I can sense their unsettled energies all the way from here. Listener, I said it's time to go. Hey, hey, no, don't flinch away from me. I didn't mean to raise my voice. I am sorry. Hey, hey, shh, it's fine. You'll be fine. I, I know how to help. Breathe deeply, okay? Follow after me. One. Two. Three. Better? Let's do that again. One more time. One. Two. Three. Hmm. Lend me your hand, will you? Let me feel your pulse. All right. You seem to be calmer, at least. Shh. Don't speak. It's better after an anxiety attack to just get reacquainted with your senses. To find your grounding. Let me help you, all right? You can trust me. I know what I'm doing. If you feel the world is spinning, just hold on to me. Look up at the sky. Take deep, deep breaths. That's it. How did I know what to do? Well, you may or may not believe me, but my friend... One of the yakshas was very prone to panic attacks in the later years of his life. I tried my best to help him, but he couldn't stand it. In the end, he left me here in this world. <sighs> I can't turn back time. I don't think any amount of comfort I offered would have saved him in any case, if I could even call it saving. But anyway, that's not the point. You're not immortal like us. You ought to cherish your life. And I won't allow you to go through the motions, hiding all your fears and sorrows from the world. I'm here for you. If you need anything, just say it and I'll do my best to give it to you. Yes. Anything. Why? Because you're special. I thought that should go without saying. Huh? You... You love me? I... I don't know if I can say the same. Love is not an emotion I find myself familiar with. Not even in the slightest. But fondness, yes. I have felt it before. For Master Zhong Li, for the other Yakshas, for you. Perhaps especially for you. No, of course I'm not saying this just to make you feel better. I wouldn't do such a thing, especially not to someone I care about. Look at me. I'll say it again. I feel a great fondness for you. A fondness that, perhaps in terms of people, would translate to love. You have saved me many times before, without you even knowing. You have saved me from the darkness in my mind, from the heaviness of my heart. It's only natural that I would want to do the same for you. So take as long as you need to rest and recuperate. Come, 
Get on my back. I'll bring us back to the inn so that you can get a good night's rest. Yes, I will lie down with you if that is what you wish. The demons? At Guyun? Don't bother about them. They'll all vanish the moment you fall asleep. Mm. The midnight air really is the best. When the world is silent, you can feel the heartbeat of the earth pulsing through the soles of your feet. Here, I'll put you down now, alright? Listen. You can't hear it? <laughs> I suppose it's... Hardly reasonable for mortals to hear such things. But I figured you, whose body is made of stardust, who comes from another realm, might hear something, even if it's not quite the same as what I hear. Hmm? You do hear something? <laughs> the sound of my heartbeat, you say? Impossible. I don't have a heart. Let's quit this idle chit-chat. Come in with me. Come on. It's not every day I'll lay by your bedside. You, you want to take off your clothes first? Uh, sh sure, whatever suits you. Why I'm turning away? Well, I... You would do well to have some modesty. There's no need to start stripping out of nowhere. There's no need to hide it either? Well, I... I suppose I don't have a proper retort for that. Ugh. Stop saying embarrassing things like that. Just shut up and cover yourself up with the blanket already. You. You want to know what I think about your appearance? Ugh, I don't have any thoughts about it, obviously. How you look is none of my concern. But if you really insist on knowing, and you won't lay down until you hear it, well, it goes without saying that you are very attractive. It wouldn't take an adeptus to figure that out. You have a very beautiful body, one that you would do well to cherish more. Uh, are you done teasing me yet? <laughs> I let you lead things for a while and this is what you get up to. I'm only letting you have your way because I'm trying to be nice. Don't expect it to be like this tomorrow, or in an hour from now, even. Huh? Well, of course I meant what I said, about your body. I wouldn't say unnecessary things, much less things that aren't true. Enough about that. Hey! You want to hear my heartbeat? Like I said before, I don't have one. You won't be able to hear anything. But you're just saying you really hear something. That it's not a real sound, but maybe the sound of my soul? You say stupid things sometimes, Traveler. And yet I... Do not always mind them. <sighs> Go to sleep. I will watch over us for the rest of the night. Not that anyone would dare harm you when you're in my arms. Good night, traveler. 
May your dreams be as silken and soft as almond tofu.